Okay, so number one, it says write the slope intercept form. Okay, take good notes on these. These need turned in there, worth a grade, and then you can use this on your um, chapter or test, okay? So, slope intercept form should be y equals mx plus b. Okay, what does our m stand for? Slope. Yeah, it's our slope. What about our b? Y-intercept. It's a y-intercept. Okay, so we're just going to write the equation out. y equals... What's our M? 3 over 2x. Two. Three two What's our B? Plus 5. Plus 5. Okay, and that's it. That's all we're writing. Okay, number 3 says find the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, what letter do we use for slope? M. M. What about the y-intercept? What letter do we use? B. So you're going to say M equals B equals, what does our M equal? Negative 1 over 4. What about our B? Three. It's just 3. That was a really good number. Quit. It's not working. So it's not going to. Okay. Number five, it says find the slope. You find the slope when you only have two points. Close your mouth. Okay, so um, we have slope. Okay, this is slope. And we need to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so we can label these. x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, what is my y2? Negative 16. Negative 16 minus negative 15. And then I got negative 5 minus negative 4. Yeah, and so you can change these minus minuses to a plus. Okay, and if you type in all this on the calculator, it's going to spit out your correct answer. Okay, so it's just going to end up being... One. Okay, so you can hit that fraction button on the calculator and type it all in and it's gonna spit you out one, okay? And one is our what? What were we finding? Now look, you ain't doing this right, and I just did it on the damn board. Oh. I know, maybe you need to. <laughs> Stop. Okay, what were we finding? One is what? What were we finding? Slope. Yeah, we were finding the slope. One is our slope. Okay, seven says write the point slope form. Okay, our point slope formula is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. That means I need to leave my answer with parentheses in it. Okay, so we can label these x1, y1. What letter do we use for slope? M. M. Okay, so I got y minus, my y1 is negative 5, my m is 10, x minus, my x1 is what? Bellinger, you with us? Positive 1. Zone it out. It's going to be negative 1. What's a minus minus? Positive 1. Yeah, it's going to be a plus. But actually, Quit. Okay. Uh, or do we stop or do we keep going? Stop. We stop. Okay, this one says write the point slope form. So I got y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Okay, so that's what we need our answer to look like. Okay, what do what formula do we need to use when we have two points? Thing that you get on five and six. Yeah. Okay, and so we we can label these x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, and so we have to find the slope. So we got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1.
okay? Y2 is four minus negative one, zero minus negative four. Okay, what's a minus minus? Can we plus? So we got plus, plus. So I'm going to have 5 over 4. What is 5 over 4? What were we finding? The slope. Yes, the slope. Okay, so now we have some points and the slope. What formula are we going to use? Y is equal to 7. Point slope. Okay, so I got Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1. Okay, so it's going to be y minus, my y1 is negative 1, my m is 5 over 4, x minus, my x1 is negative 4. Ellen, you're good at this? You're coming. You are. Come on. Okay, what's a minus minus? Do we stop or do we keep going? Yeah, we stop, okay? It says up here that we should have parentheses in our answer, and we do. So we know, most of you guys can run through all the steps. It's, you don't know when to freaking stop. That is the problem, okay? Or sometimes you stop and you're not supposed to, you need to keep going, okay? So make sure you're stopping when you're supposed to stop. Then say something. Why would you just sit there? You're going to have to move because I can't scroll down anymore. And I'm recording, so I can't move the thing either. It freaking sucks. Okay, look at 11. It says write the slope intercept form. What slope intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Okay, so this is what we need our answer to look like. Now let's look at what we've got. Well, I've got a point and I've got a slope. So what formula am I going to use? Listen to what I said. I have a point and I have a slope. What formula am I going to use? Point slope. Point slope. Okay. So we got y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Got to have a wear a mask in forever. I feel like I keep getting out of breath today from talking up here. Like this is ridiculous. I could be having like every couple of minutes. Okay, so I got y minus, my y1 is negative 1, my m is 3, x minus, x1 is negative 1. What's a minus minus? Okay, do we stop or do we keep going? We gotta keep going. Keep going. Okay, does this have parentheses in it? No. Who said that? Don't you said that. No. <laughs> it's totally uncalled for. It. Positive one isn't there either. Is this thing alive? Yes, it is. No, I'm talking about like at the end. It's not supposed to be. I don't know what you're talking about, but. Is this a line? Yeah, it's real. Okay, so we need to distribute. So I got y. y plus 1 equals 3x plus three. Now we need to subtract the one from both sides. So I got y equals three x plus two. And now our forms kind of match up so we know we're done. Yeah, we'll see.